Hey, I'm PH, and welcome to another episode of Good Bible Knowledge with PhD. In this set of videos, I want to study the words and works of Jesus to give a clear understanding and a deeper appreciation of the love of God expressed through this most important figure in human history. And I hope these videos will help you in your own spiritual journey in Jesus. Let's get started. What was Jesus' main message? When Jesus began his public ministry, he proclaimed a single message, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. The good news for the people of Israel at that time was that God was about to inaugurate his holy kingdom on earth, which was foretold in Psalm 2. The kingdom of God is a time when God promised to bring never-ending peace and prosperity not just to Israel, but to the entire world through the benevolent reign of the Messiah, Jesus, the King from heaven. The inauguration of this kingdom was dependent, however, upon God's people acknowledging Jesus as the Messiah, the only Son of God. And in the following days, Jesus' life, his teaching, and miracles would instruct the people about the coming kingdom and present irrefutable evidence that he, indeed, was the genuine Messiah. While Jesus and his disciples were attending a wedding at Cana, Jesus performed his first recorded miracle in the Bible. During this festive event, the host unexpectedly ran out of wine for the guests, and Jesus' mother Mary saw an opportunity for Jesus to perform a miracle and publicly claim his right as the Messiah. But Jesus replied that this was not in accordance to God's plan. Instead, he privately instructed the servants to fill the empty jars with water to the brim and bring them to the wedding host. When the host drew from the jars, behold, water had miraculously turned to wine. The only people who were aware of this miracle were the servants, Jesus' mother, and the disciples. A few days later, Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem to observe the Passover, an important Jewish event. When they arrived at the temple for worship, Jesus was stirred when he saw the temple grounds were resembling more of a marketplace than a holy sanctuary. The priests at that time were corrupt with greed and used this sacred event to make a great profit at the expense of the worshipers. Worshippers traveled great distances to Jerusalem, bringing the very best of their livestock to present as an offering to the Lord. The priesthood was in charge of inspecting these offerings to ensure that these animals met the requirement of being pure without blemish. Upon inspection, it was routine that the priest would deceitfully pronounce the offering as unfit, leaving the worshiper with no other recourse but to be forced to sell their animal to the temple and purchase a temple-certified animal for sacrifice. The priest would then turn around and sell the confiscated animal to the next unsuspecting worshiper. This corrupt practice made the temple very rich at the expense of the common people and turned a most holy day into a complete mockery of God. In a rare display of holy fervor, Jesus made a whip out of cords and overturned the tables and drove the profiteers out of the temple of the Lord. And the Bible tells us that Jesus' actions caused many observers to put their faith in him. What do these two early events have to do with Jesus' message regarding the kingdom of God? In regards to Jesus' first miracle, wine is a prominent symbol in Old Testament prophecy, and it represented the abundance and celebration associated with the kingdom of God. When Jesus turned the water into wine, he was in fact showing that he was God's chosen king who would bring this kingdom to earth. Jesus' actions in the temple displayed another aspect of the kingdom of God. By clearing the temple of its corruption, Jesus foreshadowed the day when God would expose the sin of the world and bring justice and righteousness on earth. Both judgment and joy would be central elements to the kingdom of God. And Jesus' bold declaration, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, was a message of hope for the humble, as well as a warning that God's justice was coming. It is significant that at the wedding in Cana, Jesus' miracle was only revealed to Jesus' family, his disciples, and the servants of the house, pretending 
the kingdom of God would eventually be received by the few rather than the many. This kingdom of God is still yet to come and will be inaugurated when Jesus returns to earth. At that time, those who acknowledge him as the one and only Son of God who died on the cross for sin and rose from the dead will be received into his eternal kingdom and peace. Thanks for listening to another episode of Good Bible Knowledge. We'll see you next time.